We've been doing school for, I think, three days now, and we're quickly learning that we need to make some major adjustments. Not too bad. It is time to head up the hill, let all the animals out, feed everyone, collect the eggs, and check on the fruit. So, let's go. Hey, while I'm running up there, don't forget to subscribe, click on that thumbs up button, and also, if you guys wanna leave us a comment, you can find us anywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and let us know how you guys are doing during this crazy COVID time. And if you guys live in California, I really hope you guys are safe. There's just fires everywhere. Our whole property has been coated in smoke for a good, probably like a week now. Good morning, Piggy Wiggies. What are you guys doing? Look at, boop, 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 boop. Come on, Ricky, I didn't get your nose. No. I'm just gonna dump out everyone's water and refill it right now because, oh, oh, okay, hold on, calm down, calm down. <laughs> oh, goodness. We gotta find him. But today, I would show you guys what all we're doing to get the kids started with school because they already technically started, but it was only a half day. So, does that really count? No, <laughs> just kidding. They did good, but I'm gonna show you guys their setup. And the first thing that we need to do right now is go have their orientations at school. So, originally, I thought it was just the parents meeting the teachers since that's kind of what they did last year. But I got an email from Journey's teacher saying that she couldn't wait to meet us and then our daughter. So I was like, crap, I gotta bring Talon too, just in case his teacher thinks that they're meeting the kids too, I don't know. Then Jasmine started getting ready because they were getting ready. So I ended up taking all three kids. We have our masks, everyone's loaded up in the car, and we're gonna head over to the school, and that's gonna be our first thing on the list of getting prepared for homeschooling. And while that is happening, I'm gonna be here doing a bunch of work. I've been working my buns off. See, we get this from our local store. It's a bunch of deliciousness for the piggies. Ah, oh, gross! Okay, mm, not too bad. I'm not a blueberry fan. I've just been working my buns off. As you can see, I'm a little dirty. I gotta get some of my stuff back in order. I got all my saws. Okay, good. That's what I've been doing. I've just been going hardcore on tree work, and I haven't been feeling much because it's not been that exciting. We're gonna go do that. We got Sunlink over here. Hey, hey, top speed, 100%, go, go! I don't know, he didn't hear me, I guess. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. Journey, yeah. how was your meeting? Good. Did you like your teacher? Yeah. She was super nice, huh? <laughs> What did, what did you say? That's a ghost. Oh, look at that. I was just talking about that in the last video. Jasper knows what it is. It's the infamous pumpkin. It's a ghost. Jasper, what is it? It's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin. Yeah. 
Is it a ghost or a pumpkin? It's a orange pumpkin! our original setup that we did now we've been doing school for I think three days now and we're quickly learning that we need to make some major adjustments my thoughts are that we should move the kids to their rooms now stick with me here because at first I feel like it doesn't sound that great to have them in their room because they wake up and then they're just in their room all day for school but they need to have their own desk and the kids have to get up and do PE type of activities. They stand and do the Pledge of Allegiance. They sit down and do yoga type of stuff. And I want them to be able to move around. And it would be nice for them to not have to wear headphones the whole time. If they're out here between Jasper running around and them sitting next to each other, I feel like they have to wear headphones or they can't hear their teachers. For me, I would also like to be able to hear the teachers when I walk by, not being a hovering parent or anything, but just to make sure that they're on task and doing what they're supposed to do. So my next project is going to be switching their rooms around and making a place for them to sit and be comfortable and do schooling and not have it feel like they're just kind of stuck in their room all day. her own pencil box because these two had to have them since they have so many extra little crayons and markers and all that. Last year when we started doing the homeschooling because of all the stuff that was going on, I had just this main box in the middle. There were actually two of them and they had crayons and markers and all that in it and the kids had to share and it just didn't work very well. So their own pencil boxes is perfect. This is what's in Jaspin's. So she just has glue and some crayons and some markers, eraser. It looks like she threw some little trinkety things in here of her own. So she has a fun little pencil box going on. Then this is her preschool booklet. So she goes through all this and we do it together and she does pretty good. I do like how this is organized and you can kind of do letters and then you can flip flop to numbers. And I have headphones for her because in the mornings when the kids get on their little mini laptops, she can get on her tablet and use that just like they're using their laptops. So these were issued from their school and we obviously couldn't get a third one for Jasmine, so that's why she doesn't have one. Uh, this is Talon's setup. So he has his little mini laptop, his workbook, and this is his pencil holder. He has a lot more in it, him and Journey do, just because we already had a school list that we got from the school and we went and bought them all the stuff that they needed. He has scissors, some tape, glue, some crayons, colored pencils, pencils, erasers, and then we have his dry erase board marker with his eraser. Here's Journey Station. She has her little pencil box and everything that's in it is the same stuff that Talon has. So we probably don't have to go through that again. She also has her workbook and this is her mini laptop with her headphones. This has been working out okay, but now the kids have brand new stuff. So Talon's teacher gave him a whole bag of goodies and we need more room for this. Journey's teacher also gave us a bunch of goodies for her. So this and then a binder with a bunch of things in it. These are the hand signals for class. So they do this when they have an answer or question or comment or they agree. That's kind of cool. So they're making it like they're really in class. They have to ask to use the restroom. May I get a drink of water? Things like that. I thought it was really nice of them to get the kids all the stuff that they needed to. Lots of workbook stuff, reading words, spelling words. So. We need more space for this. We clean out these cubbies because we had a bunch of books and things inside each cubby, but I'm gonna clean out these. We'll let the kids use this whole section for their school stuff. What are we doing here? We are making this whole big. Play-Doh stack? Yeah. Are you gonna make something fun? Oh yeah. Oh, let's go get all the, we have a bunch of utensils for the Play-Doh. Here we go. There you go. Okay, guys. Um, first we put this in. Uh huh. And then what? We got timer. And then. Oh. Uh oh. Hi guys. I'm helping my mom get the baby eggs and the chicken eggs. I got my basket. And I'm wearing a unicorn one today. It's all unicornish. And I like the stars a lot, so I have like stars all over it. 
Alright, there's nothing in there. Ah. ah, you need some more food. Let's get them some more food. Here's where all the food is. They've been eating up good. Look at that, done and done. The pigs are going because they want me. Here, let's go see the animals. Look, there's a bird. Hi, piggy wiggies. Look at them, cute. Okay, we need to put them here. And here is a little baby duck. You guys have seen some of the videos of my mom of my mom filming the ducks. Oh, one of the chickens are laying in there. Alright, let's get the eggs. This is what the rabbit set up, but I just changed it. Whoop, there's the eggs. Let's look over here. Nope. And there's another one. I'm gonna set you guys down. Oh Alright, let's go get this egg. Hi. Oh, she's leaving. Alright, you guys got to see me? Heading back down. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. We hope you guys did enjoy it. If you are loving the farm footage of the pigs and the chickens and the eggs and the ducks, there is way more of that over on the other channel. If you guys want to go into the description box below, you can click on the link. It'll take you right there. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the red notification button so you guys can get notified when our videos are live. And we will see you. Wait.